proper clean care practices should be followed. After the fuel pump head is removed, the barrel and plunger assembly needs to be removed. With the fuel pump head secured in a vise, remove the springs, barrels, and plungers. Use a clean socket to ensure no debris contaminates the fuel system. The threads in the head should be inspected for debris. The plungers should not be removed from the barrels. Lubricate the threads and O-rings with clean engine oil. Place the sealing washers in the barrel. Secure the fuel pump head in the vise with the threads on the bottom side. Install the barrel and plunger assembly. Installing these assemblies from the bottom will properly seat the sealing washers in the head. Tighten the barrels hand tight until the sealing washers are seated against the head. Secure the fuel pump head with barrel assemblies facing up. Remove the springs. Using a clean socket, torque the barrels to 60 foot-pounds plus 60 degrees. Turning the barrel one flat is 60 degrees. If the barrel is over torqued, the sealing washer can be over crushed. Replace the springs. Shop air may be used to lift the plungers. Remove the springs and verify that the plungers move freely in the barrel. If a plunger is stuck or cannot be depressed completely, the barrel and plunger assembly should be replaced. Replace the springs and install the fuel pump head.